In the end, it's a love story. Love of family, love of friends, love of a partner when hard choices need to be made. Ralph Johnstone met Laura Bach when he ran a music store here on Broadway. They were both divorced and hit it off from the start. They blended their families and began building a life together. But in recent years, their health began failing. They both had medical conditions that caused chronic pain and a rapidly deteriorating quality of life. Ralph was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. They realized that neither wanted to go on alone. So the couple applied to use the medical assistance in dying program together. They were very active and extremely independent. So it just made sense that they were given the opportunity to be in control until their very last day. Um, Cause they, they were just very independent and. Despite choosing to die together, each had to meet the made criteria on their own. Aaron Legg and John of Burlingham supported their parents' decision, but are still struck by the strangeness of the experience. I think there's always something fairly bizarre feeling about, you know, knowing that someone you love has scheduled an appointment, you know, for their death. Ralph, who was 77, and Laura, who was 67, set a date, August 8th, and died together at home. John and Aaron say it was a fine day. They get dressed up for this. <laughs> yes, my dad wanted to wear Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> and Laura had a beautiful skirt on and Yes. Yeah. Very, very flowy. My mother always <sighs> loved the, the flowy and, yeah. and bohemian clothing and so and she wanted to make sure her makeup was just how she wanted it. A month later, Aaron and Jonna met with their folks' friends at Amigos on Broadway. They shared memories about Ralph and Laura and the music store where they met. Another celebration of Ralph and Laura's lives is planned at Amigos. There will be stories and music and tears. What were his last words to you? Well, to the group, when we had all said goodbye, he said, two thumbs up, rock and roll. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.